Well, hello, beautiful Capricorns. This is your bonus reading. Thank you for joining me here. Thank you for your participation in the channel, all your love, your generosity. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in this channel and one another. Thank you. We're all here to support one another. So somebody wants to get something off their mind. Money is on the way. This may take a form of a promotion, a windfall, a new job, or a new way of making money. Bit by bit, step by step, whatever seeds that you plant will sit quietly for a while and then come up strong. Divine timing is here. Wait for the conditions to be right. What you're wanting and needing in your life will soon manifest. You're being asked to acknowledge your inner child and have fun. This could make you feel more energetic, excited about something. What's going on here? This is a time to accept that what you desire is not for you. Something much better is on the way. <clears throat> Something in the distant future, except things that can happen in a different order than the one that you had in mind. Talking to spirit. Ah, so the spirit world is trying to make contact with you to let you know that they're supporting you at this time. The energy of love surrounds you. Open your heart and you will attract what your heart desires. Your luck is about to change. <clears throat> there are unseen forces working for you, which is going to change your path in life. Capricorn. What you desire requires hard work and sustained effort. It will not be an easy path, but you will gain a lot of wisdom. So you're going to have some difficult choice here to make. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's like Spirit saying it's not going to be easy, but you're surrounded by love and whatever this path is. It's not going to be easy, but you've got your spirit team and other people. <coughs> Sorry, so there might be communication problems. Like feeling like you're not being heard. Or feeling like no one's listening. Or you can't say what you want to say. Or communicate what you want to communicate. Things are working in your favor. It's not going to be easy. But it is a better path for you. Let's see.
clarify this reading for Capricorn. Oh, again, Gemini energy is not for you. Whoa. Someone could be too critical. Someone could be too judgmental. Somebody you, it's not for you. Okay, there's love surrounding you. My God, this is fatherly love, brotherly love. Someone is communicating spiritually. You could be what you think was rejection is going to bring you justice. Damn. There could be an awful lot of talk talking about this is people being harsh, mean, uh, ignoring your feelings. You know, this is cold ass energy. This is very cold. <sighs> Somebody is opposing. Um, something keeps opposing you, keeps telling you. I don't know what the hell this is. Somebody keeps like, we know what is best for you, or we know what is best for you, but they don't. They don't understand that something is very painful. They just, I don't know, it's something very painful here. And people are unemotional. They're just like cold. And they want to keep you, like, from getting the affection you deserve or, <clears throat> excuse me, the love that you, you've, I feel like you can't speak here. Somebody's always answering for you or judging you or criticizing you, Capricorn. I can barely speak here. So they're very dominant. This is someone who wants to be very cutting, cruel with their words, uncaring. They pretend to care, but they're cruel with their words. And you've got someone over here who is... Very spiritual, talks and communicates with spirit, who, look, this is reciprocal. This is love, adoration, king and queen of cups, very loving, very nurturing. Love is surrounding you here, but somebody is just... 
damn, fuck, are they critical as... They just keep being too critical, criticizing, 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 and it's doing damage to somebody. It's causing a lot of hurt. This could be ch a child again, or maybe this is how you grew up. You know, listening to a mom and a dad or a mother figure. I don't know what the hell this is. It's just slander. And it's like not realizing that they're causing damage. They're causing damage, causing damage, causing damage. It's like it's causing a lot of hurt. And... Someone's thinking about moving. Someone's extending the olive branch here. It could be a queen of wands who's very spiritual. Seems to be a whole community of people here who 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 love who love you, love you, love you, love you. <coughs> But there's a Gemini energy here who keeps things stagnant, who keeps holding you back. This person is sucking the lifeblood out of you. Stubborn. This could be family, you know. Somebody's family members not liking you, not liking your family, but this is all family. So, this could be like in laws, or this could be like their family to you, Capricorn. But they're highly freaking critical. It's like every time they, it seems like you talk to these people, they hurt your feelings or that you end up going away wishing you had never talked to them. And it's causing you to close off your heart chakra. This could be childhood for all I know. This could have happened to you as a kid. Mom and dad drinking, fighting. I don't know. Criticism, 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 criticism. And when you raise a child up under a household full of control, stubbornness, criticism, the, it's like the kids get caught in the middle of that. And... It's causing anxiety and depression. And someone wants to walk away. They might be going to counseling or they might be going to, they, they're even afraid to go to a counselor or they're afraid to ask for help or they're afraid to talk uh, about they could be going to a school counselor <laughs> but they're afraid like they're afraid to talk to the authorities or they're afraid to talk to a counselor or they're afraid to talk about it because they don't want to cause no trouble this is stress this is worry this is Take baby steps. So instead of them being able to talk like to their parents about a subject, they go to their friends. They turn to their friends for advice instead of talking, which is silly.
heavy burdens. This is causing someone a lot of sadness and depression. But things are about to change. Someone's just sitting here wishing that, I think they're wishing that they could move. Move somewhere where they are feel respected. Instead of steady conflict all the time and fighting and arguing all the time. Why does everything have to be a fight? It's because they do not know how to communicate healthily. So I don't know if I'm describing your family dynamic or your person's family dynamic or someone in your family needing, um, they don't feel like they can talk to anybody. They don't feel like they can open up to anybody. They don't feel they got anybody to open up to. And then if they open up to a friend, they're worried about that, the repercussions for that friend if they talk. Somebody's afraid to open up. Somebody's afraid to talk. Someone's afraid to talk. And that's bullshit. They feel like every time they approach someone and they want to discuss something or they, they feel like this person is going to crack. This person, if they're not careful, whoever this person is, could have a breakdown, a nervous breakdown. This person is feeling desperate. This person is feeling like they can't talk to anybody. Like... Every time this person, and it is family, I don't know if it's a niece, a nephew, children, teenage children, this child feels like they can't talk to their family members. They feel like they're heavily judged, heavily criticized, judged, judged, judged. I don't know if this is a narcissistic parent I don't know what this is, but this child feels like they cannot discuss openly how they're truly feeling about anything without being criticized, cut down, judged, uh, to the point where and they're going through something very painful. They're going through something very painful. And over here, this could be another family who is very warm, very open, very nurturing. And I could be talking about a relationship too. This is very bitter and cold. This is very warm and loving. Very nurturing. Very spiritual. Very uh, patient. Very calm. 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 Peaceful.
if we are talking about a current situation, I'm not talking about someone's childhood right now. If we are talking about a current situation where someone has like a teenager and they feel like they can't discuss their feelings with their mom or their their step parent or there could be a stepfather involved here or they can't talk to these people whoever their family is they cannot talk to them this kid is like learning <sighs> feel it they're distressed like they're going through a lot of anxiety. Troubled, very troubled, very worried all the time, hides things to themselves, has learned to become very secretive because every time they go to open up, Every time they go to talk, they get knocked down. This is mean. This is mental cruelty. They may not be even intending it, but th they're under continual negative, negative, um, mean, judgmental, critical um, duress. So they learn to shut up. They just learn to keep things to themselves. This, this is someone who has thought about going to a family counselor, thought about going to the ministry, thought about going to a, like a school counselor, but they're afraid to confide. They know that they're going to get holy war when they go home. So this person is learning to just keep everything quiet and silent. Now, I don't know if I'm picking up on a child currently or someone's childhood. They just feel like there's fighting and arguing going on all the time. They feel like this actually is mental abuse. Let's face it. If a child can't come and speak what they want to speak, confide in their own parents, afraid to talk to a counselor, what do you think is going to happen to that person? over time. And this could be someone who you're in a relationship with. Maybe that was the way they grew up. I don't know, but it would really help for this person to be around really nurturing, loving people. I'm telling you, it would. Because someone's going through it. they're hurt they might be even going to self medication like medicating self
and to making a child vulnerable. It makes children vulnerable to like, okay, I don't know who I'm picking up on, but the story wants to be said. So don't take offense to it. It's, I'm not saying it's your upbringing, but it could be your person's upbringing. It could be that spirit's just giving this information. It could be a child involved. So someone has not had it easy. Like, So it's like left on Capricorn's plate to solve these problems or to fix themselves, unfortunately. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's you, your past person, your childhood, your person's childhood, or a current situation that is going on concerning a family member. You could be like an uncle, you could be an auntie. I don't know. There's a... Oh my God, it is to do with home and emotions. And someone's learning to clam up close off their emotions, afraid to share or express their emotions. Because they're confused. Someone's just like, if this is you and you're having trouble with this, please reach out. If there is a child here that shouldn't be on the channel really, but they do it anyway, reach out for help. And you might be aware of something, Capricorn, of somebody going through something. You might be asked to reach out. Or I'm picking up on past childhood wounds. And it's never too late. Someone is lear going to learn or has learned to self-medicate in order to cope. And we do not want that happening to any young one here. And that's what spirit wants to say. So guys, if you know of a child that you suspect is going through that, please Please reach out to them. At least be a listening ear or a shoulder to lean on. And that's what Spirit wants to say, guys. Take care.